Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Elongo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys are doing is very much appreciated. So thank you. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to secrets about Halloween you didn't know. Do you guys celebrate Halloween? What are your thoughts about it? Otherwise, I don't. But let's see what the video is about. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. To the fall season, the Celtic people of the north used to believe that during the fall season their year began. And actually, for the Celtics, their New Year's was November 1st. October 31st was the final day of the year for the Celtic people of the north. And that day was called the Day of Samhain. And this individual, well, Iyadu Billah, was supposed to be. The, 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 their god of, of, of the spirits of the dead, of evil again. And according to their belief, the evil spirits would rise to the surface and would terrorize people on that evening. And on that evening, if you did something wrong to a person, they'd come back to get you on that night. So some people would put on a disguise so you couldn't recognize them on October 31st, on that evening. And then they would be safe. Also, they would burn fires. Now the only thing we find left of that is the jack-o'-lantern that they were put inside of their window, window made from the pumpkin. What actually happened in Europe is that the church moved All Saints Day, a day for the saints. They moved it from May 13th to November 1st in 1834 AD. And so what they said was that the 31st night is All Hallows Evening. All Hallows Evening, which in America later became known as Halloween. Halloween. And they depict the forces of evil. What is happening now is that the children put on disguises. They dress as little devils, little witches as goblins, vampires, anything evil, and they go out. And now with the new American way, they do trick-or-treat. And they come to your house asking for food. They knock on your door in the disguise. And some Muslims, thinking they, they want to be Americans, or they want to be Canadians, they send their little children, um, and they're in the little disguises. So what are you going to dress them as, a little angel? What are you going to be? How are you going to dress and go out there? And so the reality that we recognize is that, number one, this is the day of Samhain. And the Quran tells us, Inna shaitan alil insani aduwun mubin, that the devil is an open enemy to humanity. There is no compromise with the devil. So we don't play around and disguise ourselves as little devils, little shayateen. We do not disguise ourselves as this, because it is an open enemy to the people of monotheism. Also, there are a number of other aspects. What is happening now, as you may know in America, is that there is a new church coming about which is called the Church of Satan. Well, And in the 60s in San Francisco, the church um, was initiated. And right now in the American army, if you are Jewish and you die, they bring you a rabbi. If you're Muslim, they'll bring you an imam. If you're Christian, they'll bring you a priest or a minister. If you're registered as part of the Church of Satan, they bring you a priest from the Church of Satan. And he is performing these rites and rituals, calling on the devil to accept his initiate. And so this is growing in this society. And they actually did a couple movies. They did this Rosemary's Baby. Right? They, they also, uh, The Exorcist. 
and a number of movies they did to frighten people with evil. That you will be so afraid of evil, and they show the priests as bumbling idiots, falling down over their feet, can't do anything, running away from the devil, and the devil is a businessman in his suits. And he has the power of lightning and everything. So even though the devil dies in the end, you end up being more afraid of the devil than anything else. That's part of the plot to brainwash people to be afraid of the shaitan. The reality is, is that the Prophet said um, uh, that, that the, the upper hand is better than the lower hand. What that means is you should be the one who gives and don't beg, that we should not be begging. And so to send a Muslim child out to trick or treat is a demeaning, lowering thing. You're asking them to beg people for food. Then they're dressed up in, a, in, in, in as a way that they're not. Then when the candies and, and things come in the bag, how do you know what it is they actually gave you? Is it halal? Most of the candies today are made with gelatin, with glycerin. They're made with pork products. And what is also happening is that there are some evil, wicked-minded people who are attacking children on that night. I don't know about Miami, but in Canada now, they openly say on the television, do not send your children trick-or-treating by themselves. Do not go to in darkened streets. Move as a group. Don't go to a house that you don't know the people on the inside. And there are literally groups of Satanists who are capturing children and they're performing a rite, sacrificing the child on that evening of Samhain, supposedly to get more spiritual power. It's happening right now. And so from so many angles, Muslims should have nothing to do with Halloween. And if your children are in school, go to the teacher and make it clear to the teacher, we do not involve our children in these ceremonies. We don't want to be involved in these confused rituals that, that are giving signals from many different angles. And so in conclusion, we recognize the fact that the present system of rituals and holidays in this country and in the Western countries is a confused hodgepodge of cultural rituals. And it is important for Muslims to have basira, that they should have the insight to look through affairs and do not just blindly follow the ways of the Christians and the Jews. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, you will follow them. You will follow the people who came before you inch by inch, foot by foot. Even if they crawl into the hole of a lizard, you crawl inside there with them. And then they said, who are these people? Are they the Christians and the Jews? And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, who else? And you can't Islamicize these occasions. You can't use Arabic names and Islamic symbols to make it halal. We have to take a stand. And secondly, it is important for Muslims to cherish their own holidays. When the Eid al-Fitr comes, take the day off. There are some Muslims who go to work on Eid. They go to Eid prayer and they go to work. So what happens to your children? They don't have a chance to, to, to relax and enjoy themselves. Organize an activity. Bring the families together. Eat together. Do things together. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. Make it a happy occasion for them. They will remember their Eids. Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha. If they don't, then they get involved in Christmas in Easter, in Halloween, where even in the Christian tradition now, it is confusing. And many of the Christians now, Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah's Witnesses, and many people are taking a stand. And they're saying, we do not want to follow the pagan religion. So what about those who have been blessed with monotheism? And so I want to leave you with these words. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would help the younger generation to be able to take a stand especially for the Muslims to take a stand and for those non-Muslims to try to understand what Islam really is. It's a very interesting video. We shouldn't be so quick to try and fit in by just doing anything that's out there but i think almost every uh celebration or holiday that we have is some sort of ritual uh ritual doesn't mean something necessarily bad christmas i think it's a ritual um there's ramadan there's halloween there's easter there's 
valentine it's up to us now to use our brains here and uh, think about it why are we celebrating this look at the meaning behind um christmas why are we celebrating it you find out the answer why are we celebrating easter you find the answer why is valentine such a big deal you find out the answer from there if you think celebrating them makes sense then do it but if you know like maybe you came this video you came across this video and it's making sense look into it if you think it's wrong don't there's nothing wrong about not joining into um celebrating these things there's nothing you're going to miss at the end of the day honestly speaking there's nothing to miss otherwise this was very interesting and a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video